Let's open our Bible to the book of Daniel. We want to pray. The book of Daniel, chapter 5. Tonight is a night with a difference. Because we are going to pray and put a stop to the feast of the thousand lords of the forces of darkness over everything that belongs to us. Tonight is a night that we are going to move the forces of darkness that are jubilating and celebrating and celebrating over our lives, our destiny, from celebration to jubilation. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I start reading from verse 5. Belsh I mean from verse 1, sorry. Belshazzar the king made a great feast to a thousand of his lords and drank wine before the thousand. Belshazzar, while he tasted the wine, commanded to bring the golden and silver vessels which his father Nebuchadnezzar has taken out of the temple, which was in Jerusalem, that the king and his prince and his wives and his concubine might drink therein. I want us to pause for a while and take a very good look at this word of God. When you look at the beginning, the Bible talks about Belshazzar, the king. And I also want us to know that there are some people God has put in position as king and as lords. Belshazzar the king made a great feast to a thousand of his lords. Whenever you see anybody making a feast, it's a sign of celebration and jubilation. It's a sign that we have arrived. It's, it's a symbol of, yes, that which I dream of has become reality. So the Bible talks about this king. The, don't forget that this is a king in Babylon. This is a king that is reigning in Babylon. And when you look at it, the, the, the word Babylon is not a suitable word. It's a word that is full of evil. Babylon is a word full of atrocity. Don't forget that this is the same Babylon that the Nebuchadnezzar was reigning over and he said, okay, I'm going to create for myself a great, great image that everyone in my, in my domain, in my constituency, in my provinces, in my country must bow to this great image. And we, we, we saw three men full of holy books, full of the presence of God that defied the world of a king. And I've come to tell you today by the power of the Most High that God has put us in a position to defy the word of a king that will not glorify God. And every word of a king that has not glorified God, we are here to defy them today in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I said we are here to defy the word of that king that has not glorified God concerning our life. That has not glorified God concerning our destiny. That has not glorified God concerning our ministry. That has not glorified God concerning our home. That has not glorified God concerning our day to day activity. Because the Bible says, For we have a name that is above every other name. And at the mention of the name Jesus, every knee shall bow. And every 
to have tasted the wine, that shows a cup was brought before the shadow. But he said, no, I don't like this cup. This is not how I want to drink the wine. Let me go further. Let me use that which is in the house of the Lord. Let me divide that which, is, which was taken from the house of the Lord. Let me step on that which the bread of God is attached to and see what's going to happen. But thank God. The Bible says, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. The word of God says, let no man from me, for I carry the mark of Christ. You see, God is not angry with this thing. But the, the moment he steps forward concerning the things of God, I have come to decree over your life that every power that has violated your right, every power that has stepped forward over that which belongs to you, every power that is jubilating and celebrating shall be jubilated in the name of Jesus. We all know the word jubilation. When the company starts thriving, everybody rejoices. When a company goes into liquidation, everybody is sad. But today, we are causing sadness in the forces of darkness. Look at what the Bible says. He tasted the wine and he commanded that to bring the golden vessels and silver vessels which his father has taken out of the temple which was in Jerusalem. That the king and the prince and his wife and his concubine. You can see the kind of feast that we are talking about. The feast that was even extend to concubine. Okay, let us drink wine out of that which was taken from the house of the Lord. And praise the Lord today. We are the house of God. We are the temple of God. So every power of Belshazzar, every power of the forces of darkness that says yes, we are the ones they are going to use to, 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 to drink their own wine in their kingdom. I've got news for you. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. For the Bible says, I am the Lord of all flesh, and there is nothing difficult for me to do, because they have foundated the, the, the temple of the Lord. Don't forget that that day when Jesus also entered into the temple, and all he saw were people that foundated that which was meant to be, to be going on in the temple. They overturned it. And they started building the temple for all sorts. Money changers, pigeon sellers, all sorts. And Jesus said, you have turned my father's house into the, into the den of robbers. There's no way. I'm not going to allow this. And the Bible says he, be, he began to drive them out. He began to overturn tables. Every table of the forces of darkness that has not favor of shall be overturned today in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I decree that from celebration of the forces of darkness to liquidation in the name of Jesus. Hey. I put a stop to the feast of the thousand Lord of the forces of darkness. Over your life, over my life, over your ministry, over my ministry, over your home, over my home. I put a stop by the power of resurrection in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey. The Bible says, because of the king's commandment, they brought the golden vessel that was taken out, I'm reading verse 3, that was taken out of the temple of the house of God. Look at that, temple of the house of God. I love what the word of God says, says for this cause, the Son of Man has manifested to destroy the works of the devil. Every works 